Elizabeth thank God for everything that he has done for her. She prays for herself and all the family members and the source of income. She prays for the souls in purgatory. She prays for the soul of her aunt Regina Paston that may she rest in peace. Chomkama Angela prays for the souls of her father and mother in Rome and all souls in purgatory. Mrs. Sentua Maria Asabira Mualawe Agatha Par Nampara Okora Ebibuza Vibiaka Marizo Ebum Samf Chiminechom Samf Oburonji. Mr. and Mrs. Kamia Basabira Mualawa We Agatha Par Nampara Omukama Musawaze Se Okoro Oburonji Ebibuza Vibiachom Samf Ni Mama We Maria Omukama Amkwatireko. Rose Moru, thank God for the gift of life. Pray for God's blessing. And lastly, pray for the souls of the relatives whom God has called and be the souls in purgatory. Narwanga Karu, thank God for the gift of life. Pray for our parents, Rose Nansruga, and the third father. Dad, Apollinar Singendo, Luwarma, and all the family members that God may reward them down the repose. St. Joseph Secondary School in Zambia, they thank God for the gift of life. They pray for the soul of the late Peter Sechaya that God may reward him in down the repose. They also pray for their son. For the son Michael, who is going, who is doing primary living examinations, that God may console him in this time which is not easy. And lastly, Sister Great, thank God for the gift of life. Pray for parents, Francis and Lorda, then relatives Emmanuel, Anna, Winifred, Urban, and all the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. When we serve God, we are not helping Him. And a matter of fact, it is a privilege for us to serve God. We have to do it, it is mandatory because he was the one who served us first through his son who came here and died for us. And he stated it categorically that he didn't come to be served, but to serve. Let's pray for that discipline, for that spirit of loving to serve, which is coming out of love. For the moments when we have not carried out the assignment that God has given to us successfully or doing it reluctantly, let us feel sorry and ask for God's pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call the sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, teach what befits sound doctrine. Bite the older men, be temperate. 
serious, sensible, sound in faith, in love, and in steadfastness. By the older women, likewise to be reverent, reverent in behavior, not be slanderers or slaves to drink. They are to teach what is good and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be sensible, chaste, domestic, kind, and subs submissive to their husbands, that the word of God may not be described. Likewise, urge the young men to control themselves. Show yourself in all respect and model of good deeds. And in your teaching, show integrity, gravity, and sound speech that cannot be censured, so that an opponent may be put to shame, having nothing evil to say of us. For the grace of God has appeared for the salvation of all men, training us to renounce irreligion and worldly passions, and to live sober, upright, and godly lives, lives in this world, awaiting our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all iniquity and to purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Responsorious Psalm, our response is, from the Lord comes the salvation of the just. From the Lord comes the salvation of the just. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will dwell in the land and safely pasture Find your delight in the, in the Lord who grants your heart's desire. From the Lord comes the salvation of the just. The Lord takes note of the days of the blameless. Their heritage will last forever. By the Lord are the steps made firm of one in whose path is delight. From the Lord comes the salvation of the just. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you may abide forever. The just shall inherit the land. There are, they shall abide forever. From the Lord comes the salvation of the just. Praise God, alleluia. Praise God, amen. Praise God, alleluia. Praise God, amen. If a man loves me, he will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus said, Will any one of you who has a servant plowing or keeping sheep set him when he has come from the field? Come at once, sit down at table. At table? Will he not rather say to him, Prepare for me and put on your apron and serve me? 
till I eat and drink, and afterwards, you shall eat and drink? Does he thank the servant because he did what he was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that is commanded to you, say, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. The Gospel of the Lord. When Paul was continuing to give advice to Titus, he was telling him that the church, or the community of believers for that matter, is composed of different people. We have the youth, we have the young and the elder. Then you have also people who have embraced a way of life, those who are married. He was telling him that you have the responsibility to cater for their needs. You are the one to provide them with the spiritual nourishment that will make them to move forward. He has talked of men with the good qualities, temperate, serious, sensible, sound in faith, and has talked of in love and in steadfastness. He has also mentioned the other qualities which are good for all of us. Where are we going to get the grace which will help us to live a worthy life? Paul is telling us that we are going to get the message from the sound doctrine. When our lives are anchored in sound doctrine, doctrine which are not shaky, doctrine which are not faulty, then we are likely to live a good life. Another source whereby you can be helped is by looking at men and women. You can even include the youth who are living a godly life. Those are the people who are living a life which is worthy to emulate. You look at the lifestyle of a person and then you see, yes, this is really a real Catholic. This is really a real Christian. Then you can borrow, you can, you can, you can <coughs> look at him or her, and then you can get a message, a lesson from the life of that particular individual. And that one can also help us. Are we among those people who can be looked at and then we are living a godly life and we are worthy to be emulated, to get some examples from the way of life we are living? In another source which can help us is always to have trust in God. Let us open our lives to God and then God's grace will flow in our lives and then we are likely to live a worthy 
life. That's what Paul was telling to Titus. Not only Titus, but even other people who are living in a different categories of life, those the elderly, the, the youth, and the others, because it is good to live such a life which will lead us to our final destination. We normally get responsibilities. Let responsibilities from the government, from organizations, and even in the church where we are members. At times, some people may think that when you are in the church and you are given a responsibility or you are put in a certain position to lead others, then they are saying they are helping God. When you serve God and you say you are helping Him, when I don't serve, who will do it? Such a statement. I don't think we are just helping God. By the virtue of our baptism, we have to serve God. As a matter of fact, it is a privilege to, to, to serve God. It is a privilege to serve God. God created us in his own image and likeness. And when things went wrong, God, out of his initiative, he gave us his only son to die for us. And when Jesus came here on earth, he didn't come to be served, but to serve I came here to do the will of God, my Father. And I can say he came here to do the will of us, to help us, to get us from that damnation which had caught us. He didn't come to serve, but to be. He didn't come to be served, but to serve. We have to learn a lesson from him. Serving God, it is a privilege. And we have to do it out of love, but not saying that we are just helping the one who created us in his own image and likeness. Let us pray that as we offer the sacrifice of mass, let us borrow leaf from St. Paul, who moved many journeys to serve God because he had rescued his life from damnation. The Lord be with you.
sing to the Lord and bless his holy name. Oh, sing to the Lord and bless his name. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and use may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit who was born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, stretched out his hands as endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare our glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and the earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time as we betrayed and entered the winning into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was handed, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The midst of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, you offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that by taking over the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with the friends of the Pope, is the grace possible of God and all the clergy. Remember our candidates who have started doing their plumber living examinations. May the Holy Spirit help them to remember those material which will help them to answer correctly the questions. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mass. Welcome them to the light of your face, of mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints through our priesthood throughout the ages, we may merge to be co heirs eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Uh, the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, our Lord be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace us the grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord. I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only so, and my soul shall be healed. May the bone and blood of Jesus Christ keep us free from every evil and bring us to everlasting life.
The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Let us pray thanksgiving. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go forth in peace and love of Jesus Christ. Amen.